today I'm just bringing you a quick tutorial on how to create background colors for your iOS apps in Swift 9 not Swift 9, Xcode 9, <laughs> Swift 3 so we're going to create a new Xcode project we're going to go a single view application you can name it whatever you please you can save it to whatever directory you would like I recommend making a folder and saving all your projects in there. But I'll just send it to the desktop. So to start off, we will start with the storyboard. So you just want to come over to your storyboard. And as you can see, the background's white. And what I like to do to start off with is I will run the application just to make sure everything's good. We have a build successfully done. And as you can see, it has launched the emulator successfully and it has a white background. We want to change that. And the first way we're going to do that is using the storyboard here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it we're going to come over to background and it's as simple as that you can just change the background to whatever you would like whatever color fancies you so I'm just going to go over blue I'm going to hit the exit and that's it you just run it again by the way I'm using command R to run it uh, you'll learn all these keyboard shortcuts as you begin to become more advanced in your code and they are very handy instead of just going up and clicking run. So as you see we now have a blue background. Another easy way of doing this is by I'm just going to get rid of this, put it back to white. Actually, you can come over and there are different options. So there are five options of how you can choose your color. Just easily solid ones and stuff like that. I'm just going to put it back to white. And I'm going to come over to my view controller. And the easiest way to do this is to start off with, you actually don't need this did receive memory warning in your app. That's just saying that if there's anything in your application that can be compressed down or there's not much storage on the phone, what can we get rid of in the application? So you don't need that. I also like to get rid of these comments just to make it look nicer. And it's very simple to do this also, programmatically in Swift. It's as easy as view dot background color will equal to you can use dot solid colors, so I'll go a dot red like that. And if I run that now, we have a red background. There are other ways to do it using hexadecimal, hexadecimal colors as you can just google them so if I go equals a UI color and then you can use the red parameter like that so it will use say 45 over 255 like that so you can actually set the hexadecimal colors I actually don't know what this color is going to be and you'll set the alpha to 1 and then you just run the application again we got a like an army green type color so yes the easiest way to figure out these colors is to just google them and I'll come up with the values so yeah that's it for today that was how to set your background color programmatically and using storyboards in Swift if there's any more tutorials you'd like me to cover just leave them in the comments and I'll get around to them soon very soon